Um, so yeah, I think that's I think that's awesome that the kids get an opportunity to stay here on the campus and get all that mm -hmm. you know great attention. Um, what other programs and services that you offer your your clients here at CYDC? So um, about eighty percent of our programs are community based. Um, Typically, the way that works is uh, DSS will call us to send a caseworker out into a home to assess. Um, we have about 10 caseworkers on staff right now. Um, they'll go into a home, they'll talk to the family, they'll check out the facility or the, the home. Um, if it's appropriate, uh, they will offer interventive services. So. Um, hooking a family up with uh, the Low Country Food Bank um, or help paying utilities, uh, help looking for jobs and um, if, if necessary unemployment benefits, things like that. Um, if we can heal the family and keep it together, that's our primary goal. Mm -hmm. um, worst case scenario, uh, that caseworker comes back and calls DSS and says that the child needs to be removed from the home. and then that child is removed from the home and right. brought to a place like CYDC. So you take the kid and you basically have them from elementary, middle, high school, and then help them in the afterlife, after high school as well. Yeah, so we, um, as I mentioned earlier, we're licensed to house children zero to 21 years. Um, right now, our youngest uh, youth in residence, I think, is 13 years old. Wow. Um, our cottages are kind of separated by age, so we have a cottage that serves roughly middle school, um, a cottage for high school, and then our newest home is called New House. We opened that just a year ago, um, and that serves older kids that are transitioning out of the foster care system um, who wow. need a little different, they, they get a different kind of attention. Mm -hmm. um, when you're 18 years old, if you're in the foster care system, you can sign yourself out. You can self-liberate. Um, and what 18-year-old doesn't know everything and is ready to be on their own? Um, what we found is that those kids sign themselves out and they are immediately homeless, jobless. Um, most of the time they don't have personal identification, so they can't secure transportation. Um, and they just don't have the life skills to right. make it on their own. The statistics are staggering for kids that grow up in foster care. Um, by the time they're 24, less than half of them will have a full-time job, less than 2% have a college education, um, a large percentage of them will be homeless. Uh, so in trying to address those statistics, we opened New House, uh, which houses kids that um, are working towards independence and we provide them with life skills training. So financial literacy, um, household management, how wow. to grocery shop and cook and clean and do your laundry, um, interview skills, you know, career readiness training, how do you fill out a job application, how do you conduct yourself in an mm -hmm. interview. Um, the kinds of things that, that people in healthy families, I think, often take for granted. Um, but if you're a kid who grew up in the foster care system, Chances are you never learned how to chop a vegetable. Exactly, exactly. And you're talking so, about, you know, prevention versus treatment at its at its finest. You know, that's that's basically what it is. And then anything else like our society, I think, you know, we have to prevent the disease before we can, tr rather than treating it. And that's absolutely. What you guys are doing is preventing those things from happening and treating it, um, so you don't have to treat it when it does happen. And CYDC is investing more in those preventative programs. Um, because they work. Dating me from early life.